in the book of Luke chapter 22 verses 53, it says, When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your power and the power of darkness. Listen again. He said, but this is your power and the power of darkness. So there is time. The evil people, they know the time to, to attack. So you as a child of God also, you must know when to pray. Let us bow down our head for prayer. Please repeat after me and say, O oh Lord God Almighty, thank you for always keeping me. Thank you for always protecting me. As your word says, that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Please, Lord, I have come to your presence again to seek for more of your protection. Please, Lord, continue to be keeping me safe. Do not allow any evil to come near me. As your word says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 12, it says, For we rise not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Gracious Father, as I have lifted up my voice to you in prayer now, every chains of bandage that has held me captive for a long time, let it be broken now in Jesus' name. Every evil force, every cause, every spell, and every power of the darkness around me and my household be broken now and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every sheet of your protection that has been removed on me as a result of my wrong deeds or as a result of my sin, O oh Lord, forgive me and return the sheet of your protection back in my life in jesus name every evil bullet or harrow aimed against me hold against my household let them be destroyed now in the name of jesus oh lord my god pour the anointing of your protection upon me so that no plague no disaster we come near my dwelling in Jesus' name. Father, as you protect the Israelites in the land of Goshen against the agent of death that is killed in the firstborn of the Egyptians, so also protect me that no untimely death we come near me and my household in the name of Jesus.